Sister Donna Thomas is coming at this time and give our scripture. Behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee, which had bidden him, saw it, he spake unto himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that touches him, for she, she's a sinner. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, I entered into thine house, Simon. Thou gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou, Simon, gave me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou did not anoint, but this woman, has anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore, I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loveth much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, thou sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. Amen. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And when the twelve were with him, and a certain woman, they all went with him, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and many others, which ministered unto him of their substance. Out of all the men that followed Jesus, Peter was the most radical and outspoken of them all. They abandoned Jesus in the face of mortal danger. I, Mary Magdalene, stayed with him to his crucifixion. I even witnessed his resurrection. Before that, I washed his feet with my hair, one age after another. My life has been changed from being a prostitute, mystic, a celibate nun, a passive helpmeet, and so on. Let me tell you what I had. I had an obsessive compulsive disorder, anxiety, bipolar, personality issues, 
mood swings, panic attacks, schizophrenia, you name it, I had it. I was a psychotic mess, tormented by seven demons until I met Jesus. I even sing in the choir. He has truly, truly, truly done marvelous things. Thank you.